So, uh, second weekend in the role. Um, it actually kicked off uh, last night for me uh, with a special meeting of uh, Quilly Borough Council uh, to award the status of Alderman and Freeman uh, to uh, a number of prominent former councillors, uh, as we occasionally do, um, which is as good an opportunity as any to talk about uh, the fact that I'm actually still a borough councillor at the moment and the law around that. So the first thing to say is that is not going to be the case for very long at all. Um, you are legally allowed to occupy multiple tiers of government. Um, in the UK, it's rare. In France, literally everyone tends to be the mayor of a tiny town and have a number of additional roles on top of that. It's, you build this whole power structure around yourself. We don't tend to look kindly on that. It is you know, taking on an awful lot of responsibility. And frankly, some of those jobs, you're not going to do that well if you're uh, replicating it. And in the Labour Party's rule, but we recently changed the rules to make sure that anyone who gets elected to Parliament has to stand down from their seat in a reasonable amount of time. Um, I'm trying to give people a bit of a break on elections. We've just had local elections and then a general election. But I think sometime shortly after the summer, probably we'll be looking to trigger that so that people can get someone in who's able to give their full attention to it and it's not divided in their time between uh, the borough and uh, Westminster. Um, outside of that, uh, today I've been down to uh, Lewis. Um, in my role as a uh, senior figure in a party within the county, we have a, an annual event um, uh, in Lewis uh, where it tends to be focusing on different areas of policy and how the Labour Party can try and move things forward. I've been attending this uh, as a uh, sort of guest panellist for many years. Uh, today I was on a panel with um, Guardian journalist Polly Toynbee, um, the Assistant General Secretary of the Train Rail Union, uh, ASLEF, uh, and another Labour candidate who ran in Bexhill and Battle and did incredibly well, going within about 2,000 votes in a solid Tory seat that proves that the majority of about 26,000 um, uh, to discuss with local members what the current direction of policy seems to be in the Labour Party and where we might, we might like to take it next. Um, so that fit within that sort of general outreach remit that MPs often take on beyond uh, their day-to-day -day role. And since that point, come back and it's been cracking on with casework time because as I've said before, MPs uh, usually have a team of about four people to support them. And when they first get elected, they do not have that. They have to go through the process essentially of setting up a small business, acquiring premises, running through all the contracts and recruitment processes uh, and getting sort of cash flow management in place um, it's an awful lot of work to do and at the moment all of us are basically the first time that just time to start from scratch while trying to do all of the training sessions and get through the day-to-day -day role of being a member of parliament it's very difficult and unfortunately it, it doesn't impact upon people um but i am hoping to get people in place as soon as possible and i'm working as hard as i possibly can to deal with things in order of priority um so i hope very soon to, to be in a position to update people on what those arrangements are going to look like